Welcome to this Software AG webinar. My name is Theo Hildyard, Director of Industry Marketing, and I'm joined today by Filippo De Montis, Director of Industry Solutions. The topic of today's webinar is Software AG's Digital Marketplace, our next step in helping customers and partners with their digitization journey. We often hear how rapid innovation is essential to a company's success and possibly even to its very survival. The world's first digital business platform from Software AG provides the ideal base for application innovation. But the next step in the digital journey is our digital marketplace, an online hub for solution accelerators, business process models, industry frameworks, and a whole host of other development essentials for the digital business platform. And these development essentials don't just come from Software AG. They come from our entire ecosystem. Partners can contribute their unique offerings for customers or even other partners to explore and be inspired by. In fact, the marketplace is designed to inspire co-innovation across our entire ecosystem as partners and customers engage with each other and with Software AG. Let's take a closer look at what is listed on the marketplace. As I mentioned, the marketplace is the only source of development tooling for the digital business platform. It contains use cases, industry-orientated examples of what can be done and what is being done by customers and partners today. It contains solution accelerators, actual executable code, design patterns, APIs, and other components that can dramatically accelerate development programs. It contains process models and templates for a wide variety of BPM environments. It contains services such as training. And finally, it contains fully-fledged applications that innovation partners have built using the digital business platform. But if I'm a customer, what can I expect from the marketplace? Well, first of all, it's important to say that Software AG's digital marketplace is accessible to everyone. No registration is needed. For customers, the main goal, of course, is to learn about the innovation coming from within the ecosystem, innovation that is driving the digitization agenda, and then to engage with the right vendors for them. But let's not, not forget about community. The marketplace story is about co-innovating and sharing feedback and ideas to move the entire ecosystem forward. For partners, the goal is to learn as well as engage with other complementary partners who can help you further your own products and solutions. But of course, the marketplace is also a channel, a channel to list and promote your offerings, as well as to create new leads, reach new markets, and ultimately to sell. So with that brief introduction, Filippo, can we have a quick demo? Thank you, Tia, for the great introduction. Again, it's a pleasure for me to be here with you today for this how-to webinar. And as you said, I think we are at the right time now to move to the demo and show to our customers and partners how the marketplace looks like. So going to the browser, we have Software G Digital Marketplace. It is available at marketplace.softwareg.com. As you can see, the marketplace is accessible without the need of logging in. Right now, I'm uh, working as a normal customers or visitors of the marketplace who is interested in looking at what is available, the content that has been published on the marketplace, and now I can learn more about the content that is available. On the home page, as you can see, you have all features application shown either on the carousel or on the featured and popular hubs below. You can also browse still on the home page uh, through the different applications and products uh, based on the industry, the product type, Iris, Web Methods, uh, Terracotta, Apama, all our product set, the type of provider, whether it's a software G or a partner that is providing the solution, or the type of listing. As you mentioned before, we have five main types of listing, which are use cases, accelerator, full-fledged application, business processes, and services. Besides the feature application tab, of course, you can also check all applications that have been listed on the marketplace. As you can see, as of today, we have 102 solutions, use cases, accelerators, etc., that are listed on the marketplace. For example, if you want to look at a solution provided by a partner, and if you're looking to accelerate your time to value, you'll be selecting an accelerator. And uh, further down, you select, for example, 
manufacturing industry, you will be shown with a list of our top listings here from three global players, Vipro, Capgemini, and PwC. The first two are related to the same uh, industry and also more important to the same uh, type of value proposition. IoT and predictive maintenance are very much related. So for this, you can also you can also compare this listing to understand which one is more fitting with your need. Again, the purpose of this view is to give you a high level understanding of which solution is a better fit with what you're looking for. Let's assume that uh, because you're very much into the IoT within the manufacturing business, uh, you want to look, take a, a further look uh, at the Vipro Looking Glass solution. You click on Try Now, and that will open up the Vipro Looking Glass uh, homepage. Here, on the overview, you have, of course, uh, a brief description of the solution, features and benefit nicely explained below. Of course, features are also available on the separate tab where you have uh, much richer information about each of the single features of this uh, uh, solution, of these accelerators. You can go and check out the reviews uh, from customers that are already using uh, this uh, solution. And finally, you can go onto the resource tab where the partners have made available a set of solution, uh, a set of rich media content, uh, such as a solution brief or explainer video that you can download and uh, read it to learn more about the solution. Now, of course, once you've seen the solution and it says that it, it fits with what you're looking for, you want to get in touch also with the provider himself and engage with them to further evaluate the solution. That is a very simple step to do because just clicking on the Learn More button, you will get to the Contact Us form in which you just need to fill in with your personal detail. In this case, mine are already pre-populated here. And clicking on the Learn More, you will get in touch with us and we will come back to you either directly or with our partners. So now Theo, we have been looking at uh, the visitor view, so the user view of the marketplace. You, we saw how easy and intuitive it is uh, to browse through the rich media content that is available on the marketplace provided by Software G and its partners. It's now time to take a look and also the vendor's perspective. So what is the marketplace when I access it as a partner who wants to list their offering and therefore leverage the marketplace as a new digital channel to reach out to the vast software G customer base. We go back to the marketplace homepage, but this time instead we log in as a partner. This is myself, Filippo De Montis, as part of the Acme Corporation. Now, as a vendor, as a provider, you see that I now get access, uh, of course, uh, to the default uh, features of the marketplace, so I can still browse through the uh, rich content uh, and all the solutions that are already available, but I can also click on the Developer tab and as a developer, I can start creating my product to be listed on the marketplace. So let's assume that uh, I create a product uh, to help running this uh, type of webinar, and uh, I'm gonna select the, the, the product name. Usage model and the revenue model are required, are mandatory, but as a fact, uh, we will be able to hide it uh, to the, uh, to, to the public view if that's required by the, by the provider. I create the product, and when I click Create, I enter the product dashboard. You see the 
marketplace very nicely in a summary view in this dashboard helps me understanding how complete my listing profile is. I can see that uh, edition and prices is completed and uh, is mature for publishing the content to publish the listing on the marketplace, but I still need to work uh, on the marketing profile. So I need to click on the marketing profile, and indeed, I see that I have to provide a splash title, a title that will be shown in the splash view of the uh, of the solution that we're listing. So, for example, we call it again webinar tool, and a splash description to to facilitate webinars. I can create an over, I can add an overview page. I can add a video if I have a recording of a demo of this solution, as well as a link to the documentation. Screenshot can be added just below, and after that, I just have to start listing all the benefits. Of course, more benefits can be added so that the customers accessing and viewing the listing can get a complete picture of what it is, the benefit, and the benefit that we receive. After the benefit, you start listing also the features. You add the features one by one with a title, a slogan, if you want, description, images of screenshot, because again, the goal is to make visitors and users quickly understand of the potential that your offering has. So why not giving them view also of how the solution would look like? For each feature, you can list the characteristics and describe them too. Once you've done the features, it's the time to look at the customers and media. You can here flag those customers that are already using your solution. This is a default list of customers, and it can be extended. If you have customers that are well-known uh, brands that you want to add to this list, you just have to reach out to the marketplace support team, and we will include it into the list. After the customers, is the time to link your listing with some uh, media coverage. So if you have been publishing articles, white papers, blogs on uh, some medias, this is where you can add it to the listing. Again, you can create uh, and, and show the, the potential and the recognition that your listing already has in the market. After customer media, you can add support. If there is a support line you can want to be contacted at. And finally, very important, the resources. This is where you will upload the, <clears throat> the rich media content, such as white paper, solution brief, but also videos that explain more in detail what a solution is. Great. So we've now looked at the marketplace in its two flavor. We've seen the marketplace for visitors and users that can today access to the wealth of knowledge that Software G and its partner ecosystem have shared through the marketplace itself, through very nice, uh, well-explained, uh, intuitive and complete offering that are listed. We have also looked at the marketplace with a developer view. So the view that our partners that sign up to the marketplace initiatives uh, will get access to. As developers, we explain that you get access to the full potential of the marketplace, because in just a few clicks, you will be able to make your offering accessible to Software G broad customer base. So I think that it's time now to look at how customers and partners can sign up to the marketplace. On the same page on which this video is available, on the top right corner, you have two links to the login and the sign up. Login will take you straight to the login page of the marketplace. 
So we require you to have already the login credentials available. If you do not have those login credentials, you just need to click on the sign up. That will take you to the sign up page. As it explained here, customers can sign up by clicking on this link here. This will take you to this page, which will allow you to basically submit uh, just your address and we will provide you a sign up for the marketplace. Alternatively, Alternatively if you're a partner, you need to fill in the form here on the right, providing your full details of your company, your role, country, phone number, as well as whether you're an existing partner or not, and then clicking on a sign up. The marketplace team will get in touch with you to provide you full access to the marketplace as a vendor. Thank you. So I think it's now time uh, to close this webinar by reminding our audience that uh, if they want to know more about the marketplace and they want to get access uh, to the marketplace uh, as a customer or the partners, they can simply go to www.softwareg.com slash marketplace and there download our ebooks or sign up for the marketplace. Thank you.